You probably all know Kira by now. So for this episode, we put together a little game with some random questions to get to know her a bit better. Hello, Kira. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know our good friend Kira over she's here. She's a queen. Is a, is a queen. She's the um, best. She's working with us now, actually. Um, after we spotted <laughs> her TikTok account with 63,000 <laughs> followers on it. And you've got a couple of videos with millions and millions of views. Um, what she has a YouTube account as well. A YouTube okay. account as well. Do you have millions of views there? No. Okay. <laughs> I just started, no. So she also has a YouTube. But her vlogs are amazing. Thank you. Brilliant. What stands out to me the most about your content is firstly, like, the erratic nature <laughs> of yourself on camera. Like, dare I say, like, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're screaming in everyone's face. And then what I was surprised to notice is that the first time I met you, I'm like, oh my God, there's Kira, like, the super energetic, loud, confident... And then when I met you, like, you were really kind of, like... Chill. Yeah, chill I, I'm super quiet. reserved. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. How, like, which one is the real you? Like, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been having, like, this existential crisis lately. I was like, wait, I'm not the same I am on the internet and in real life. And it's, like, so mm. obvious. Mm. Because, like, even, like, last time I was in a group setting, like, we were I with my friends. This friend, he was like pointing out, he was like, wait, guys, have you ever noticed that Kira's so loud, so energetic, like online, then you meet her in real life, she's so quiet. Like we were in a group setting, she hasn't spoken a single <laughs> thing. <laughs> but I feel like, and then correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like it's still the same, like you're still the same, that's still very much you. But maybe like then having like people around you, that makes yeah. you more reserved. But when you're on Probably, your own. Probably, because like it, takes a while for me to like warm up and be like super comfortable with someone mm. so by uh -huh. that time i'm just like <laughs> uh -huh. just gonna stay in my cocoon but then when you're comfortable with someone i'm assuming then then i'm, go I'm berserk <laughs> i go crazy oh my god my friends tell me like my closest friends just tell me kira shut the fuck up please <laughs> never shut the fuck up i will never shut i up. remember never. seeing um a video that you posted um I, I i don't know the school it was i think it was at your at your Handa. secondary school at Hanna, eh. at Hanna. that was my first viral video the, uh -huh. yes and, like was it like like one of the first videos you ever posted that suddenly went viral or had you been like yeah. warming up to that and working on it? I think it's been warming up to it a bit. Mm. Like I've gotten like over 10K views at some point, okay. but like that video, 3 million views is just like, yes, that <laughs> wow. Crazy. And it happened so quick. I remember posting it at like 4 p.m. And right when I went to bed, it was already racking up like a million views. I was like, dang, am I going to wake up it with like... It's so mm. funny, it, man. It, it, it really intrigues me because typically like to make a viral video, people think so much about like, creating these unique concepts mm -hmm. and stuff like that but essentially all you did <laughs> you grabbed a microphone <laughs> and you went around interviewing people but you're so, so like, like you obviously do it in a smart um in a smart and trendy way but mm -hmm. it's like it shows how simple content can be you know yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's so fucking funny, man. Like, there's this... We were going to your TikTok the other day, and we were seeing the one of the kiwi. Oh, my God, the kiwi. <laughs> the kiwi with cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you even, like... How do you come up with these ideas? Man? Like, oh, it just, like, starts going in my mind. And then I'm just like, wait, what if I just turn this into a video? And I just, like, shoot the camera. I'm like, I'll post that. It's fine. That's so good. That's so good. Yeah, and how good. has like how was it after you got like your first viral video and then like a few other ones after that? How was it sort of going to JC and like do people recognize you? Like do they people pass do. comments? <laughs> like do. how is it? Like especially since I started working with you guys, when people see me with like a microphone or like a phone, they just run away. They're like, that's <laughs> a three hour go go away. I don't want to be filmed. <laughs> how funny. How but funny. definitely when I meet new people, they're like, oh, I like know you from the internet. I know you from somewhere, don't I? Yeah. Like that. And I'm it's like, true. you look really familiar, but I don't know from where do you ever get <laughs> yeah. that? Because I get that a lot, man. Has that started like when you're out in Valletta, Slema, St. Julian's? Are people stopping you? You know. They are, they yeah, are, yes. they definitely are. Last time, it was like kind of scary. I was like out with my friends and like I was walking to the bus stop and then randomly, randomly, someone just like whispers in my ear, can I tickle your pickle? <laughs> and I got so scared! I got so scared! And then I looked around, I'm like, what? And then like, he's like, oh, I love your video so much. Like that was from a TikTok you made. Like, I'm about sorry, but what the fuck? Who ah, says there's a, that? There's a way and a way, bro. Can like. I tickle your pickle? I got so scared. How old was this person? He's probably like not much younger than me. Okay. Because okay. like, if it was, it was like a middle age. Makes it less creepy. It's a 50-year-old guy coming up to the top. Okay. 
That, that, like he was super sweet, but the way he approached me, I got so scared. <laughs> oh and my, my friends were God. looking at me like, "Is she okay? Is she gonna get like harassed right now?" And at what what stage are you at? Is it is it mainly like flattery that that you get when people recognize you? I think I I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, last time like when I walk in Valletta, usually. Like this one time, there was this group of people. They just screamed, "That's the girl from TikTok!" <laughs> and I just looked back, like, "Hi, hi, girl." Hey. Um, oh at at like JC, obviously, like like you said, people tend to run away from you because they think you're gonna interview <laughs> yeah. them. Has that ever gotten in the way of like you forming like authentic relationships with people? I mean, I don't know. Not mm. sure. Like, no, for now. Okay. But like. Okay. In a way, it's like when people meet me for the first time, it's like they already know my personality online mm. and they're like, oh, I don't need to get you get to know you more because mm. like I already know who, how you act and stuff. Mm. And then like, I just feel like people look at me at like a very surface level point. Okay. Which is just like, okay. oh, I can't form like these relationships. Mm. But like, it's fine, it's chill. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I feel fine. like you have, I'm gonna correct my friend, but I feel like you have like a good group no, of I friends have as a well, really good which group. you had like from before mm-hmm. as well. So what about like, what about what's your love life? Like? My love life <laughs> non existent! Because <laughs> last time I remember we were shooting something and you were like, I think the question was like, why do you think you're still single? And you said that it's because you vlog your life. Yeah. But I wasn't sure if you were serious about it or not. I so was, I was completely like, serious. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, because I feel like even if someone likes me for the first time and like they think I'm pretty, whatever, they go online, search my name, and they see like my entire like... They see you molesting mm. a kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or they see me dress up as a blue smurf on YouTube. And it's just like... That I think so that's very attractive, to be honest. <laughs> I have a thing for smurfs. Or ah, oh, shoes and Papa kiwis. Smurf, like, very blue. Mm. 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 Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like that's a, a, a nice little introduction yeah. on Kira for those of you that don't know, for the minority, probably. Um, we want to play a bit of a game today. So we have totally random questions written in that lovely free hour. So like some of them are like really random and funny and some others are a bit more serious. Mm-hmm. We just want to go through them and, and kind of give our two cents on each of them. Should I pick out the first one? I think Kira should pick out the I'm first one. I'm picking out one. the first one. Go for it. Wait, should we set like a three minute timer for each one? You do that. I'll do you that. Do I'll do that. <laughs> Less okay, responsibility for right. me. Right, feel free to shake it or whatever. <laughs> but I have a good one. Who would win in a fight? Happy at the party or Eileen Monstein? <laughs> Personally, okay. I don't really know who these people are. You don't know Peppi Azzopardi and Eileen I'm Montezini. I'm not into Maltese, like politics, whatever. You don't know Peppi Azzopardi. I know who they are. I know who they are to a certain point, but I don't really Icons. like know their character. Their, like, Ole, not their character. Like, I know what they the look vibe. like. The vibe. vibe. Eileen Monstein. <laughs> you think Eileen Montezine would win? Maybe. Oh, it's Montezine. I think Eileen would take it, man. I think so I, as well. Yeah. I, think, I think Eileen would if win. If it's Peppi versus Eileen, mm. I feel like... I feel like Pep would be intimidated by Eileen. It could be. Many, many are intimidated by Eileen. I don't blame um, you. Pep is a very good... <laughs> Pep, Pep will probably beat most in a debate. He'll beat most in, a, in, in, in an argument. But I think muscle-wise, she'll take it. Mm. Muscle-wise. Man, of course, he's a lot of Pep, man. No, Pep. Like Pep before she... Um, I feel like Eileen, Eileen Montezin can like have everyone wrapped around her finger type thing, mm. you know? Mm. I don't you know. know, I'm voting Eileen. Personally. I'm voting Eileen as well. Should we all vote Eileen? I kind of want to say Peppy just so that we don't all say Eileen. Then go Peppy. But I <laughs> think Eileen, would, <laughs> Eileen so, would take Sorry, Peppy. But wait, is this a physical fight or? Yes. Oh. I, I think <laughs> would win in that fight makes me think it's kind of physical, no? I mean, I don't think they're gonna have a rap battle or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, but it could be like a verbal one mm. type thing. Mm. No, I think verbal Pepe would take it, but if it gets physical, Eileen. <laughs> I want to see it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it might that. Get if it Imagine that. <laughs> you want to get the next one? Yeah. No, that took two minutes. We didn't even need the timer. Brilliant, very straightforward. Eileen's a strong lady. Let's have a look. Okay, wow. What happens after death? Ooh. 
What happens after death? Am I supposed to answer that first since I read it? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> As in like, I don't know, <laughs> is, is, is the easy way to put it. Um, do I believe in an afterlife? I don't think it's completely black non-existence and then there's a speck of life and then it's black non-existence again. I think we're, we're deeper than our human form. I believe in like that we have a soul that gets carried on. Mm. Where it gets carried on to, I don't know if it's another life. It would be pretty lame because if we're just living the same life on repeat over and over just from different mm. countries, it might be a bit lame. But some kind of... So like reincarnation type thing is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but some kind of afterlife reincarnation where we are still our soul. You know what hmm. I mean? Maybe not the same physical kind of person, but the same, the same soul. I don't know, man. I agree it's with so you on that, I feel like. Of. Like, it's not going to be like a whole black vanishing point. Mm. Like, obviously, your brain is going to be like black vanishing point, nothing. But I feel like your soul is just going to like... There must be something. Uh, like. Literally. Mm-hmm. Like, it'd be so even, scary. If like it it was it's, it's, it's physics. Like, their energy is neither created nor destroyed. Exactly. Like, technically, it's, it's but, science. But like, one thing that I... Like, when, when atheists speak, for example... Mm. Um, they, they often talk about science and what we know as humans, mm. what we have evidence on and what we've discovered. But like, there's so much we don't know and so much That's we can't great. comprehend. Like things have happened over the past few years, like COVID, for example, something that we can't quite comprehend. Mm-hmm. Think of that from an outside of life perspective. There could be so much that, that is just mm-hmm. unfathomable to us. So it's not, okay, we know science, sure, but that's all we know. I don't know if it's a soul thing though. Like, what do you mean? The I, I think the, the way I would describe, like, like soul is it what, what gets carried on. Like, it's not, it's like, you're not on. your brain or your heart. You are your soul, you it's know? Carried on where? That, that, I, I don't know. <laughs> man, what do you think? Heaven? I don't know. Nothing? Nah, nah, psh, man. You it's just scary to think about. Like, it is quite scary to think about. Like, if about. I die and it's just a, nothing... That's scary. That's terrifying. Mm. I don't think it's nothing. But like also, maybe it's in like different forms. Maybe it's not like your proper soul. Like it's not like a person type thing. Mm. But it's in like sort of when you're bur- buried and like you like disintegrate and then you go into the soil type thing. If that makes that sense. Does, does, <laughs> <laughs> so you think we're soil after we die? Ha- oh. <laughs> maybe. Enough. You don't think there's like a soul that like goes somewhere or does there must something? Be all. I don't know. Ooh. It's okay. Next question. I'm not it's giving me PTSD from my alarms. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, it's me. Ah, yes. You want turns. I learned this. Uh-huh, you want very good turns, I'm knowing sorry. when your turn is. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What is your toxic trait? Kira, you want to start off? You start off, I'm, I need to think. <laughs> toxic traits are those things that I feel like when I do something, sometimes I say, Lalo, yes, this is my toxic trait. But then mm. I can never think of it in the moment. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm feeling right now. Oosh, oosh. My toxic trait. What do you think my toxic trait is? My <laughs> favorite. All right. This is the question. All right, relax. So, so I have to say what your toxic trait is. Uh, what do is. you think my toxic trait is? I, 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 <laughs> I barely know mine, like... Well, yeah. I think my toxic trait would be... Probably, probably that, that I get, I get um, phases where I get super obsessed with things that become way more important than everything else and it's all I speak about. So I get quite obsessive over not humans but like stuff like activities Mm. hobbies interests i think that would be my toxic trait because everything just becomes more important and then Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you thought of something no it's spot, really I'm difficult, like, oh, eh? Your like, I c- is obviously that you'd vlog everything. <laughs> that is, that is a toxic trait. Like, no one likes a camera in their face all the time. Someone goes on a date with you and then you're there. So I went on a date last night. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> like, I can only think of stupid ones. But, like, I feel like my toxic trait is that, like, I could spend hours and hours just 
seeing my own TikToks and just like seeing my own highlights, I could spend mm. my literally hours on end just going to my highlights and watching them myself. Like mm. I post, I, I have highlights for myself, just for myself to waste time watching them over and over as if I didn't see them a million times already. Okay. okay. That makes Are sense. you one of those people that would like go on holiday mm. with Chicho mm. <laughs> and every nice view it's like Chicho take a couple of photos I me. think so yeah that's photos, also my toxic take, trait yes. you look at the photos you take she's like you see you look you really don't know how to take oh, them. Really like, bad. And really bad. Really this one's like... bad. Illa, there's too much of the floor, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm the same way. My parents, yes. like, I use them as my photographers all the time. And they're like, they're like 50 years old. So they don't really mm. know angles. <laughs> and then I'm just like teaching them and stuff. And then at some point, my dad was like, Kira, I'm never taking you on a trip again. I'm so tired of taking pictures of you. <laughs> how, so funny. Funny. how funny. How funny. But then when you get the one. With, with Key, after like she asks me like if I can retake a photo. I'm like, why are we here, man? <laughs> photos oh, wait, now, yeah, like, to- no you can't do that you can't. that I'll, makes I'll, I'll it worse that makes see, it that, worse but you see i said it's a toxic trait so i'm aware that it is a bad mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. next <laughs> next I, th- I think i forgot to- oh two we have two seconds left it didn't ring what the oh, what but the- it's like there oh, oh my god God. Oh my God! I'm having I a whole body reaction. So <laughs> but much. why did it have to wait you know like seven years? To start? Once I set my favorite song as my alarm tune so that I would wake up in a good mood. Okay, now you hate that song, I don't you? I haven't listened to the song ever since. Like. It ruined my what life. What song it, was it? It was Have a Nice Day by the Stereophonics. Uh, it, I woke up to... Not a, ba, da, ba, not ba, a nice day ba, anymore. Da, da. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear it, now it's the worst. <laughs> All right. Kira. You're done. Tara, I remember it this time. I didn't remember. You like football, Kira? No. Okay. No. Why? <laughs> I don't know. What era of social media do you miss the most? Ooh. Easy. For me, for sure, when I was like 11, the like Tumblr phase. The, oh. Like, oh my the God. The Pinterest. That's how, that's how I knew if a girl liked me, man. The Tumblr. Because <laughs> uh-huh, I would speak to them for like a week <laughs> and then they would post something like, God, I wish we'd just meet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like they start posting love stuff. I'm like, okay, they're in love with I me. I never really posted on Tumblr. I think with Tumblr, I used to like repost a week. I'm trying to remember how it worked. Hmm. No, I, it was no, reposting. Just, like, repost, like, yeah. uh-huh, I used to just repost. I, I, would, I would repost. I'm gonna My be Tumblr honest, was I would depressing. So much sex, man. <laughs> so, you know those, like the. The Tumblr models. Yes. Like Everything on Tumblr was blogger. either really sexual or really depressing. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, oh. So that's a good combination of my two interests. There you are. Yeah, mm. sick. Probably. I used to love Tumblr. But mm-hmm. what I miss the most is Vine. I think oh my God, Vi- Vine was the Vine, best. Vine and I'm a... I'm, 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 a, I'm a guy. So FIFA pack openings. Uh. I would watch... 40 minute videos of normal ass people, kids just opening FIFA packs over yes, and sick. over. Just watch them freak out, and it was my main source of entertainment. I think the era I miss the most has to be the like British YouTuber, like, you Zoella. remember the Zoella, oh Troy Sivan, that phase. It's like when YouTubers were actually starting to become a thing, because before mm. that, uh-huh. I don't really remember there being any YouTubers, and they were all friends, and it was just oh so God. much yeah, fun. I used to errors. watch, I was obsessed with Zoella, mm. like every single video she'd post, I watched it. And then uh-huh. Lalo. She has, a, she has a, well, not, not a cult following, but like a very loyal kind of following. Like mm. I know women that are obsessed with Zoella. I think we're in a good um, time for social media as well because I feel like everyone can be a creator. Um, mm-hmm. You just pick up your phone. Like everyone with a phone can watch your content, can watch your mm-hmm. content, can watch my mm-hmm. content. And anyone with a phone can create content. Mm-hmm. Like if you have CapCut and you just like chop up a few clips. Mm-hmm. But I miss that stuff. phase where even though yes anyone could do it people didn't really do it uh, so like these like british ones like zoella yeah. were like mm. they were like super special the like only that. ones uh-huh. quasi. I think COVID TikTok, it felt so man. new COVID, that's that's COVID what TikTok was so special was about it it felt so new and now yeah. it's social media like everyone's like creating now and there's like so much competition and there's like so much people you can't uh-huh. even keep up uh-huh. Uh-huh. And i feel like everyone now is like some sort of content creator now yes yeah. yes yeah so true everyone what was TikTok before it was TikTok? Musically. 
musically was a good space I was obsessed as well. with music. Even this is yeah. something people know. TikTok was something before it was TikTok. In yes. the set, it was musically. Musically, what musically. The, musically. the best app ever. It was oh, so I used to lip sync. So, yeah, oh my god, <laughs> the like, the like little the transitions. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Okay, I have some really cringe videos, like it's somewhere on the internet. Me too. Who is Lee? It is. That's the question. That that's super embarrassing. Okay. Can you pass me the cup, please? One day I'll try to find them. Music. I don't want to find them. I feel like I'm being too traumatized. It's scary. Crazy it's scary. Stuff. Yeah. Question number who knows? <laughs> what is the worst name you could give to your child? <laughs> what is it? Bartolomeo. 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 And you were quick with it. <laughs> I had this weird realization recently that my name is Matthew. Matthew. As in, like, you. It, it only took you 27 years, uh-huh, Stia. Like, but I, I, I was. <laughs> It, it's just you're okay way. what the fuck i've always gone by matt oh, all right wow. um but only like like my family you don't look like matthew. a matthew hey that, that's what i thought but matthew just the way it's pro- the few at the end, few. it's like yeah. i might as well be named bartholomew <laughs> like matthew isn't far off from bartholomew it is a bit tough. but i think the worst name you could give your child xavier no xavier's kind of nice xavier. DJ X, quite cool. I don't like it. DJ Xavier. Oh, X names are kind of unique. I like unique names. Xavier. I think the worst name you could give your child, uh, from now on, the Bible names. Mm. Matthew, Mm -hmm. Mark, Luke, John. Also, can I just say, some names are just too common and just need to be like... Eradicated from Not eradicated, but like pause a bit. Like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. There are too many Emmas in the world. Too, I was thinking the same there thing. There are too many Emmas, Emma too many M, Julias. Though. Emma with one Emma. Emma with one Emma. I, but like, oh, like, Emma with one Emma is trying to be different. No, no offense, I'm sorry, have. but way too many Emmas in the world. Emma's same and thing Luke's. with Julia. Luke's. Luke's. And Sean. And too many Julian's. Luke's. Like, uh-huh. oh, well, yeah. these, these are names. You, and <laughs> I really, <laughs> can't believe it. I really like the name Noah. I always I like said the name I'm going to name my kid Noah. And then what happened? Last year, the reports came out and everyone under the sun named their kid Noah. Malam. I, can't name, I can't name my kid <laughs> Noah. Malam, that generation is going to be Noah. That's Full yeah. of Noahs. Mm. Full of Noahs. Mm-hmm. The Noah is the new look, no? Mm-hmm. You ever mm. meet someone and their name doesn't match their appearance? Like, you look like Akira. Mm. My name isn't actually Akira, though. Oh. Mm. Plot twist. Oh, my Jeez. God. Are we getting some juice? Oh, what's right your name? Juice? It's in Chinese. Oh my god, okay. what is this? It's Ziyue. Wow. Can you say it again? Ziyue. Try to pronounce Ziyue. that. Ziyue. Ziyue. It's like you're throwing Ziyue. up Ziyue. 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 It's kind of I French, love that. To be honest. <laughs> How cute. Slay. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Do I look like a Naomi? Yes, yeah, I think so. You, uh-huh. you, you also, do. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. No, to don't say even that. say it. Don't no, even say do. it. Don't but even you say do. it. You do, you look no. like a Nicole. No! You oh, do. crap, now you, you say you do! Oh, you do. I, I have nothing against Nicole, star, but a Liberic, why does everyone confuse my name with Nicole? I everyone, like, tough how many? Oh, wait, yeah, man, I, I had swear, emails promise. where I'm like, best wishes, Naomi. Then it's, dear Nicole. I'm like, Madonna, my reads. <laughs> Starts with an N. Oh, wait, yeah, man. Starts like, with an N. Like, I like the name Nicole, but it's just not my name. Last time I had a, I had, I had a client, <laughs> what, what did he think my name was? Ah, he's like, Hey, Nathaniel, long time to <laughs> <I> speak. <laughs> <I'm> like, bro. <laughs> Nathaniel. <laughs> you don't look like a Nathaniel. I don't think no. I do. I think I look like a Daniel, and I've been given that <gasps> before. It, it's my second... Ante- uh, I am Matthew Anthony Daniel Fennec. Ooh. I see the Daniel. And the, the, the initials are M-A-D, mad. You are a bit mad. I'm a bit fucking bad. mental. Next. I'm the sure I'm on. You can do it. Okay. Have some water. All right, next question. Do you believe... <laughs> I misspelled believe. <laughs> Not surprised. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. Oh. I believe in attraction at first sight, mm-hmm. but not love. Because oh. love is such a deep thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think you could spot the potential of love Definitely. very early mm-hmm. on. Like me and, me and Key, for example, like we were really drunk when we met. It was at a house party kind of thing. But 
like I had so much fun with her that it wasn't just like I'm attracted to this girl I'm gonna get with her and then like we just got to know each other but we were goofing around the entire mm-hmm. night and like when and then we cuddled for for the the rest mm-hmm. of the evening cuddled just, like, this a random get off you know I, actually Aww. I tell her like I wish it was more <laughs> oh yeah but that's <laughs> like, <laughs> trying, like you know <laughs> but that makes it more like that makes it cuter uh-huh. yeah. and, and and like well there's a whole thing about like like the first text that I sent her after I was gonna send her a whole paragraph but then I dropped everything and just sent her a wave <laughs> <laughs> too extreme and then she get wave back and I'm like yes how's the hangover <laughs> boom so in. wait you were going to send the whole paragraph but then I'm like cringe you like, under like, a wave where is it could have been a high no, ah, you could have just no, been like no, hi no, enjoy wave, last night a wave a wave look a wave. It, it worked six years down the line <laughs> right um, but I think like I spotted that yeah like <laughs> if it, someone like, sends me a wave after I cuddle them, them. <laughs> I'd be like bro we're cuddling <laughs> I was too good a kisser for her to all right, for her all to right. not text me back I um, don't think love at first sight is a thing but I think you get someone's vibe. Mm. Mm-hmm. There's that, like how you said, there's attraction at first Definitely, sight yeah. with someone, like when you vibe together and you can sense that. Mm-hmm. As that, like you could tell, like, I notice a connection love that can is grow. Kind of thing. No, love is just. A lot of people strong. do believe in it, I know. But first sight is but too. But like love, such a no heavy way, thing. Da, no way do I just look at someone oh. and go, live by fucking love. <laughs> there's not a chance. Oosh, oosh, oosh. I, I swore a bit aggressively there. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I swore really aggressively. Sorry. You're getting really comfortable. <coughs> oh, if I was going to say something and I forgot. Probably because I swore aggressively. Uh huh. Satsuni. Mm. Satsuni. Wait, I, I picked that? Yes. 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 So who's turn? Is it? So now Kira. No, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm really mad. You're doing this. great, sweetie. Oops. Don't read it. Since this one fell, I'll just. How many eggs do you think you've consumed in your life? I think over the past three weeks, I've consumed 7,000. Personally, I eat an egg every morning. So count how many days in 17 years? Well, not 17 years. 365. But still more. Because then like... 365 times 17. When you eat cake, there's eggs in cake. So at least 6,205 eggs have been consumed. Mm -hmm. At least. If you round it up, that's like 10,000. Let's add 15 random brunches a year. Yes. And then all the cakes you eat, Mm. like you use eggs. For everything. I would say you've had around 6,500 eggs. Mm -hmm. More, I think. More. I feel like 10,000 is like a good bet. Okay. 10,000. I think I've eaten way more. I'm 27. Mm. Yeah, I love like... brunch, bro. I love brunch. Mm-hmm. So What's your favorite eggs. type of egg? My favorite type? It's a runny fried egg. Runny. Mm. You don't like runny eggs? I like runny. Yeah, I just feel like it's salmonella right in my liver or something. I, I mean, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love a runny well egg. Cooked. But I wouldn't say that's my favorite type of egg. It's my favorite egg for sure. Mine's probably either poached mm. or scrambled. Whoever a like good spoke, scrambled like, like egg. Poached eggs, like a nice, good but, like, scrambled relaxed, egg like. hits it's when so it's good. when you cook it slowly, so it's like fluffy and nice. And then you flip it over, and then it's like a little gooey, and then it's a little <sighs> uh, gooey salmonella. It's not the same. Oh, I'm causing beef with you guys. <laughs> it's not the same. When you add like cheese or egg. Mm. I like a good omelet, like an, a, a, a nice omelet from like a, a, a five star hotel breakfast place. Yum. Yum. With cheese, yum. like ham. So yum. yum. Mm. So like 10,000 eggs? 10,000. Ah, yes. I would say I've had 27,000 eggs in my Egg? life. I think so. That's 1,000 eggs a year, Tom. <laughs> That's But again, crazy. cake. No way. No way. No, 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 no way no, you've no, eaten 1,000 eggs a year. Eggs. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can relax a bit. 15,000. Mm-hmm. 15,000 eggs. That's still a lot of eggs. I eat eggs. I, I love eggs. I think I even a, a bit of of more. I think like you'd be like 17, 18,000 and I would be 15,000 because I'm 22. You think I, I've eaten 18,000 eggs? It, it's not a But how were you as a child? Like you used to eat eggs? I, I always loved eggs. Eggs are low-key, like my favorite food, man. Same. More Same. I'll eat any type of egg. Mm-hmm. egg. Potatoes are better. Potatoes are good. Potatoes, potatoes are, are so good. good. Eggs and potatoes and bread, just plain white bread. Mm. My top three. Mm. So mm. true. So yes. true. Next. Next. 
Zio. Help, help. No. Help, no. no. Not after you called my poached egg someone else. <laughs> Mother. How do you think the world is gonna end? Oof. Like population or like the actual earth? That, that's a good question. Ooh. Because like a meteor got the dinosaurs, but yeah. the earth remained. There okay, was the ice say. age that kind of ended some sort I'd of say, existence. I'd say like sure. the population, not mm. the actual... Like the population. Earth. I feel like the way we're going right now, AI is gonna do some bad shit, crazy stuff. Yes. You think you think we're gonna be like battling AI droids? Well, maybe not like that, but I feel like AI is gonna like consume us so much to a point where just like everyone goes crazy and something bad happens. Mm. Like start killing each other, like massacre because of like this whole brain rot, whatever. Ah, oh, bitch. Imagine that's, that's like fine. some black mirror gonna, type shit. Literally. No, I was gonna say <laughs> like maybe the water level rises <laughs> a lot. Everyone drowns and then Earth is just fish. <laughs> that's what I think. Or a meteor strike. Hey, meteor strike has done it before, mm-hmm. so to do it again. I think it thing. might be something like weather related. Like it genuinely starts getting way too hot uh-huh. where like mm. people I literally think, can't you know what? live on yeah. earth anymore because everyone's fucking dying from heat stroke. That like in our lifetime, there will be certain hours that we can't be As outside. That, it'll start from that. That's how it'll start. Certain like hours where we can't be outside. In 10 years, for sure, it's going to happen in Dubai, Then it'll be example. certain places that are inhab- inhabitable. As that. And then that just grows wider and wider until it's uh-huh. the whole... There are places earth. that are inhabitable. Like, I think the, the northernmost part of Australia, like Australia, yes, there's like. a bunch of inhabitable Austria. areas. Yes, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yes, 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 madam. But inhabitable, why? Because of the weather. I, I think I think it's it's just like dry land. It's like, true. Uh huh. I think, I think. I think that's how the world super will end. Hot. Totally. Like it our population. So dystopian, like a movie. Hey. But then, do you think? Okay, if it had to end like that, do you think we would end up moving to another planet? <laughs> like Mars? I mean, they're trying to I make think Mars so, habitable Ma. right now. Because realistically, like people will see it coming, so they'll like. But like if it's a, a, a random meteor strike, for example. No, not a meteor strike, I'm saying. I'm saying if the world becomes inhabitable because of like the weather conditions. I guess like, then they'll, they'll try I think. make another planet habitable. Like I think so. Ta, they already habitable. are. They they're already like, are locally. They're on Mars or something right yes. now. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. I, I read something about people like actually starting to properly like look into it. So many off in a few hundred years. Yeah, the option. Would you move to another planet? Like, I don't think so, like, Tom. They made it habitable. I mean, depends on how bad the Earth is. If mm. it's like too bad and mm-hmm. like, I can't survive, yeah. Mm. Going on other planets. But not at the moment. At the moment, yeah. I wouldn't. I think I'd get bored and depressed. Okay. Right? Nice. That's like, a good like, question. Like, I'll build more Mars. I mean, maybe there, there, there will be cool shit to do with Yes, Mars. but like, like for a month. Like, a theater in Mars or like a cinema how? in Mars. Like, it'll be the same. But like, okay. There we go. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next. This one I want. I get so, a feeling that's a bad one, huh? It's Career a really ender. bad one. If you were to be an alcoholic drink, what would you be? The worst one still. I'm an espresso martini. You are an espresso martini. I'm such martini. an espresso martini. You are an espresso I'm With the three martini. little coffee beans on yes. top. I'm a strawberry mojito. Yes. Yes. Are you a I strawberry see. mojito? I'm a strawberry mojito. Girl. But what makes you a strawberry mojito? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, once my friend said, like, you know, if you were a fruit, you'd be a strawberry. I'm like, okay. I'll I just... see it. I can't explain why, but I see it. Maybe because I'm wearing red. Maybe. Maybe. I think that does help. Probably. I think I am a pina colada. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a pina colada. What am I then? No, what, what, what alcoholic drink am I? I feel like you just why, why, why am I not a pina colada? Like, I feel like you're more hard. You look, you look very hardcore. Like, aha, uh-huh, pina colada. So I like. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Said <laughs> straight vodka because I look hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not straight vodka, no. Negroni. But a bit. M- Either a Negroni, he's Negroni's such a Negroni. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that gives like Italian vibes, and you give me Italian vibes. Mm-hmm. Maybe, mustache. maybe, maybe. I'll take Negroni. 
I feel like I'm one of the few people that like Negroni. I because love Negroni. Super alcoholic. I love Negronis. I'll but take Negroni. I the like day it. after, I don't love Negronis. Am I've I the orange it. twist, though? Yes, I have an orange twist in me. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Originally, I was going to say you're a um, Limoncello Spritz, but no. <sighs> you're more of a Negroni. Ooh. I see the Negroni, though. Okay, I'll take Negroni. I'll yes, take Negroni. yes, yes. Nice. Because nice. Limoncello Spritz are too, like, soft. Nice, I'm not a softie. No, nice. you're not softy. No. You're hardcore. Yes. <laughs> you're Negroni. Let's not growl on the microphone now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nick. <laughs> 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 Ooh, it's like what is the meaning of life? La la la. Meaning of life. <laughs> You know, my sister, I asked this question when I was like nine years old to my sister. She answered it for me. And like, that's the answer I went with so Which far. Is? I asked her like, oh, what's the meaning of life? She said, to live. Br- like literally though. Just to live. That's and then, so like, simple. Uh-huh. It's so simple. And then but it's so like, true. I like read between the lines. I like came to my own conclusion. Like, it's not actual meaning of life. There's no like concrete factual thing you have to mm-hmm. go by. Mm-hmm. It's just, you have to live. Uh-huh. I, I think like always like the, the light at the end of the tunnel is, is, is something I like. So when you talk about like life and the journey of life, like um, hardships and sad moments when you think you're defeated and, and whatever, the thing that like everything is always going to be okay kind of thing. Mm-hmm. There's always like you can't appreciate the sun if you didn't just mm-hmm, have six mm-hmm. months of winter, for example. That is like life to me the meaning of life, like taking the lessons out of the hardships and enjoying the, the mm-hmm. good times. I also just like love in general. Like I think if, That's if a good I one. were outside of life That's a good and one, someone love. tells me like, what is the most, like the thing that stuck with you the most, it's like the feeling of love, man, for sure. And it's that's something that I think every person is capable of. So that's what I'd say. I don't think there's a meaning of life. <laughs> 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 sort of, I think... We're just overthinking it, and it's just like there isn't a meaning to it. We're just beings that are living in this like little planet in, in the yeah, like, like space. No, no uh, just, mm. But we give our own life meaning. Okay. Ooh. But there isn't like one meaning of life that's like okay, so works for everyone. Meaning like you, that. What you're doing is you're grabbing meaning, you're grabbing purpose, and like you're merging them together. Look at yes. me. Look at you, barista. Because I don't feel like. There isn't a me like no everyone's meaning is different yes everyone's meaning saying. is different and also we're just little tiny like human beings on a planet in the middle yeah, of like, space not everything matters. Like, yeah, well, going through life i, I, I like, we, have, we have way more importance than that we're not just organisms on a floating rock but we also we are meaning. but our soul sis <laughs> we're, we're, we, we are way more than just this being well, in what? Space what on are we? like it's good to zoom out like that but I what are that. we then well, th- this is life. It's, but it's that's way, why you make bigger. that meaning for your own life. Mm. But life in general, I feel like it's just it's just there. Nah. It's nah. everything. Life is everything. Yes, it's With everything, but it's also nothing. <laughs> you get I, you get what I mean, though. Yes. The, as as in like what you're saying is that it's quite insignificant because like it 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 it's a small rock in in infinite outer space. But I think the eight, a bad billion, way to look at it, the, the eight billion people on this rock are oh, they're all going through life, man. Yes, like we're it, not insignificant to each other. I just feel like in the grand scheme of things, mm. life itself, like, like no it's biggie. just life. I don't think it's that serious. Ah, uh-huh, just not that like. I just live. Like everyone because. keeps trying to find a meaning for life when so it's just I, like... Either I'm too romantic or, or we're starting to see the age gap between us, but I definitely think... No, but we all still make... Has way more meaning. Yes, but that's like the meaning you give your own life, which is good. You're like, mm. you should give a meaning to your life, I guess. Mm. I guess, I guess. Mm. I guess. Next. Take one. Is it mine? <laughs> <laughs> In- insufferable. Thank you. <laughs> You don't have to shake it. There's only like two left. <laughs> <laughs> I hated every second of this episode. Yeah. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Bread. Potatoes. 
bread. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's say let's say a dish. Let's say a dish. Let's spruce it up. Wait, let's do both, can we? Because okay. I have a reason why it's potatoes. Because potatoes, you, like... They're so versatile. They're so versatile. If you want something crunchy, you can eat potatoes. If you want something, mm. like, a bit softer, you can make mash. In fact, I like to If you want small bites, you can have... You can cut them up into pieces and make fries. If you want, mm-hmm. like, a good fucking... What's it called when it's... And there's also sweet A potatoes. jacket potato. There are also sweet mm, potatoes. They're versatile, like Theo Hernandez, for example. He can play as a center back, left wing back, left back. That's exactly what I meant. Uh-huh. Right well. Exactly. James Milner, very versatile. That's exactly who I was thinking of. In nice. Mm-hmm. So potato. And what about your dish? What's your, the, your main course that you're eating every day for the rest of your life? I would say it would be like my death row meal, which is meat, like tagliata with potatoes on the sides. Mm. And some veggies. Yum. Delicious. Okay, Here. I would be bread. I would bread forever. I like... Shut up, bread. I'm so obsessed with bread. Last time at lunch, I was like, oh, I'm hungry. What should I buy? Convenience bread. Boom. Bread. Boom, on its own. Bread. Yeah, on its own. But what type of bread? What's your go-to type My of? My go-to. I think a good baguette. A good, Ooh. freshly steamed, Ooh. Like a crispy, soft yes, on the inside. Yes, a crispy... Fro- yes. Mm. Yes. I'm a sucker for ciabatta, man. Ciabatta. Ciabatta, yes. Ciabatta, man. Butter. I prefer a good baguette, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baguette is also good. And your, your main course? My main course. I'm very simple with this, but it's like my biggest comfort food. The egg fried rice my mom makes. Aww. All she does is like have like these like cold rice from like leftovers from the day before. That's so good. She'll like cook it and then put only eggs in it, nothing else. And then she's like, so good. I don't know what she mixes into it, but like it tastes so good. God, mm. it's so good. Mm. I feel like no matter what meal I pick to eat every day, though, I'd end up hating it. Yeah, so, Same. yes. But uh, there's a question I want to ask. Are we considering, like, the health benefits of meals in something mm. we have to eat every day? I'm not going to. Because not otherwise, really. I'd say, like, a steak or, or, or a chicken or something. But mm. I'm easily going just for a... Okay, let me start with my... Just my item. My item is an egg. I would eat eggs, versatile as well. You can make scrambled eggs, mm-hmm, can have fried mm-hmm. eggs, poached eggs, that. Yes. Um, but for my meal, wood oven pizza, like just just simple margarita, some basil nice. leaves on it, like mm, nice. just, uh, just that's a good that one. That all day that's every day. One. I would say carbonara, but I get a funny tummy after carbonara. Mm. Carbonara sometimes. scares me. Mm, it scares you. Yeah, the sauce, like especially at like restaurants or something. I don't know, like what's going in it. The mm. sauce scares me like too much. Like, what if they left it out for like days on end or something? Mm. Hmm. That's one of those things that they make there and then. That typically with carbonara. Uh-huh. If it's the, a good the, carbonara, the sauce, yes. The sauce, like if it's a tomato sauce, you could um, pack it in a vacuum bag and leave it in the fridge for a while. No, oh, I've been um, having wrong carbonara but though. With Probably. Eggs, like you have to make it there and then. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. Pero I could eat dumplings every day as well. Dumplings. Oh, I had. I dumplings. love dumplings. Man, in can I just say, Saigon il. I had Saigon yesterday. They have good dumplings. I was lo- dumplings, gyozas. They Shut have that bang, up, bang, good, bang, man. chicken, man. <laughs> it has the perfect name, like. Really, really bang, good, man. Bang, dumplings. Bang, when I man. went to Japan, I think I had dumplings almost every day. And machich azisto. Because every day, I, it would be like, all right, what are we having for dinner? Dumplings, dumplings, dumplings. <laughs> whether it's a starter, whether it's a whole meal, I'm oh, having sushi dumplings. Sushi is a shout. Yeah, sushi is a shout. Shooty. Huh? Shooty. Mm-hmm. Shooty. <laughs> yes. Shooty. I think I forgot to set a timer for this one. Let's go to the next. <laughs> <laughs> What's my toxic trait? What's my toxic trait? This is the last question. Last question? Nice. All right. You're really out for the cup right now. She's so hot. Can money buy happiness? So like, like, I think, I think money can make you happier, but it doesn't buy happiness. Yeah, it doesn't give you like the fulfillment. You you you, you can like money can buy you sir. money can give you shelter and like make you worry less about problems that might arise, right? Mm-hmm. So if you have money, then you'll definitely feel more safe, and that can get you an element of happiness. But I don't think anyone can replace gratitude over the simplest of things on a day-to-day. So waking up in the morning, I'm up. How amazing mm-hmm. this is life. When you eat, like, lalu, what a nice 
meal I have in front of me, how lucky I am. Like, mm-hmm. and then you meet people when you go home, you're like, that was a great day I had. Like, mm-hmm. I, I think that is gratitude is happiness to me. But then obviously money, if you want to take an impromptu trip somewhere and, and, and really explore something you have a great interest for, like you go watch an F1 race abroad, for Lalo. example, like watch a football game. I don't know what you do, <laughs> <laughs> but something enjoyable for sure. Mm-hmm. I feel like happiness can buy you like well, pleasure, but maybe not happiness because I had like mm-hmm. ethics and my ethics teacher told me mm-hmm. like happiness is like in like Aristotle terms, whatever, it's like beyond measure. It's like this thing mm. that no one can ever reach kind of thing. And you have to like be, happiness is like a long-term thing. Yeah. Like you have like like that. And I feel like money, it can buy you the pleasure that you need, but not mm. the fulfillment mm. that you actually need. So good That's answer. so good. good like answer. pleasure, like we confuse pleasure and happiness mm-hmm. sometimes. Same way we like confuse attractiveness and love, we exactly. confuse mm. pleasure and happiness. That's so, so good. We're always confused. Yeah. You shy. As in what I said earlier would basically be my answer. I feel like it can make you happier to a certain extent in Mm. the sense that if you have no money and you're struggling to live, it's going to be difficult for you to find gratitude. Like, Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. whereas if you get some money then and you're in that state that it'll make you happier because you're given that space to be like grateful yeah. so it can maybe make you happier even if it's temporarily mm. but it doesn't really buy happiness because then like just because you have money doesn't mean you're happy no. yeah like if i was like a millionaire and i was like lonely with my mansion i could so, buy so many things i could buy a pool i could buy a jacuzzi uh-huh. everything that like thinks that i think it could make me happy mm-hmm. but i'd still feel lonely like exactly if, you're, like if you're an unhappy person with a bunch of money the money isn't going to make you happier yeah. if you're exactly. a happy person that gets a lot of money, then, then money could definitely uh-huh. make you a little bit happier. Exactly. Just because you have that safety, that security. If a friend needs something, you can help them out. Something medical comes yeah. up or you need to travel that somewhere. Safety, that's safety. something the, the, you can do. That, I guess that, that, that does bring about an element of happiness, you know? Mm. Lack of worrying, like, you uh-huh. don't have to worry happiness. about yeah. not having money to help. Like. It all yeah. just ties down to, like, the person you are and how uh-huh, you think exactly. about things and your mindset. Yeah. Wow, I feel like we've really learned a lot about each other in this episode, <laughs> guys. I've learned that you two I didn't are know you were so like philosophical with me. I, I love <laughs> hey. how you were answering, Vera. Thank you. I love Probably it. Probably because she spends a whole day being quiet and then she starts yelling at you with her camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, face. I love it. There's so much more to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank nice. you, guys. Thank you Talk for having here. me. Uh-huh.